Hello world, it's John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant, video blogger. And I am here with uh, Bob Johnson, all things home guard, home warranty. How are you today, Bob? Very good, John. Thank you. You're sounding very good today. It must be those wired earbuds and mic. Is that it? Yeah, it's that expensive upgrade we did for this telecast. <laughs> and Raphael, how are you doing uh, broadcasting live from uh, the parking lot? at Whole Foods in Napa? Beautiful Napa. I'm, I'm glad I'm in Napa. I wouldn't want to be in any other Whole Foods parking lot. That's right. <laughs> I'm doing and, great. And you, don't, <laughs> and you don't have a glass of wine in your hands. That's amazing. Uh, so, Not Bob, yet, today, John. Yet. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about an exciting uh, subject. Uh, uh, every now and then and over my 47-year career, I have sold houses with uh, slab floors. Eichlers are a very popular one. I remember I had a Ponderosa home uh, down in Cambrian Park that had a slab uh, floor. Uh, my O'Brien home that I own right now has a slab floor. And uh, it used to come up all the time, at least in my mind and in the discussions with my buyers and my sellers on getting the radiant heat tested. And uh, God forbid uh, you, the pressure test failed and you had breaches and compromises in the hot water heat in the slab floor, you know, what was the best remedy? Do we put in a forced air furnace system? Do we put in those fancy pants room heater air conditioners, which I guess are fancy pants swamp coolers, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, you can hear as I drone on that realtors are completely outmatched uh, and outgunned when it comes to intelligent commentary on um, on plumbing and slab floors. So how can home guard and home guard home warranty help us specifically on buying houses with uh, slab floors that could potentially have some plumbing issues? Well, this is a great topic because uh, there's some misnomers out there of, of how warranty companies handle uh, leaks in a slab. Uh, you've mentioned, um, you know, the radiant heat uh, that's kind of a separate topic. So I won't touch except on that to say that um, radiant heat is certainly an issue. Warranty companies do have coverage for that. It is a limited coverage. Um, and a lot of times when there's radiant heat issues, you are 100% right, John. Most homeowners opt to update and, and go to a different type of heating system. Uh, but when you have slab leak problems, when that pipe is in case, so that home is built, all those pipes are in that slab, and now all of a sudden a leak occurs over time. And what the warranty company will do, and most warranty companies will have coverage for this within the foundation of the home, they'll have limited coverage. A lot of them are up to $1,000. But with Home Guard in our total protection plan, that has actually jumps to $2,500. And usually what the case is, we'll send a technician out, they have their leak detection abilities to find out exactly where that leak is. And let's say it is in the middle of that slab within the foundation of the home, they're going to recommend, and usually what takes place is they reroute that line. So homeowners, Agents that are new, don't worry about the fact that all of a sudden that brand new tile you put in when you moved into that house is now going to get jackhammered up because there's a leak underneath it. Uh, that's not what warranty companies usually do. Uh, the technicians are experts and they have learned how to be able to reroute those pipes through the walls of the home. So there's very little disturbance to your floors and they can reroute the pipes, get rid of that leak, and they're basically abandoning that uh, pipe that's in that encased slab. Now, the other thing I should mention here is under the total protection plan, our coverage not only stays within the foundation of the home, it goes outside the foundation of the home as well. So we cover not only that drain line that might be under your driveway or the sidewalk, um, we also cover your gas lines and your water lines all the way to the city. 
connections. And some of you are seeing advertisements right now for uh, different warranties you can get for outside foundation uh, problems because as a homeowner, you are responsible for the pipes that go all the way to the city line. Well, with just a regular home warranty with HomeGuard, uh, you don't have to buy that extra warranty. We do have coverage for outside the foundation. So if something were to occur, um, we can get it taken care of. So I hate to dive down this rabbit hole, but I will. Uh, as I have alluded to, there are very few things that scare me. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about subterranean termites in a prior video. As we're talking about plumbing encased in concrete, every now and then I am faced with, but not too often, uh, a deteriorated sewer line, a main sewer line mm -hmm. that has pretty much given up the ghost. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is uh, an area that realtors and consumers are not that familiar with because it doesn't happen every day. Can you articulate the issue and any possible solutions that uh, Home Guard Home Warranty can provide? Sure. The, um, usually when you have, we'll call it a collapsed sewer line, um, whether it be age or something else, uh, we discover that initially because they have a stoppage in the sewer line and the technician will snake it, or in some cases actually put a camera down the sewer line and discover that there's roots. Uh, that's your first indication that there is a break um, or deterioration in your sewer line because the roots could not get into the sewer line if there wasn't a break somewhere and they're being attracted by the water that's growing through that line. So with Home Guard, we have $250 coverage for that. So we can clear the line, but we will let the homeowner know that they've got a break, they've got a crack somewhere. And then now it's, it's tough to give a, just a general blanket answer to what happens next, because I've had situations where it's old clay pipe and it's just being separated. In which case the, the technician said, oh, we can just put a sleeve in this and it's a minimal situation instead of having to, which I've dealt with as well, dig up the whole front yard because they discover that the, um, the whole line has deteriorated. And now we're getting into something that warranty companies do not cover. Um, so we would find out, clear the line, make sure that they have um, plumbing uh, for their house and give them some time to do some research uh, with that technician who was already out there. And we highly recommend always getting multiple quotes, as I know you do, John, when you're going to get work done on your property. Uh, so it can be pretty extreme um, of what they might have to do when you're dealing with those types of situations. Lot to unpack yes. on uh, plumbing encased in uh, cement. Yes. So um, without further ado, if you can impart your words of wisdom to listing agents, buyers agents, sellers and buyers, how can they proactively utilize Home Guard Home Warranty in offering some measure of protection on plumbing problems in slabs? What's your words to the wise? Well, I would definitely recommend that we get our total protection plan uh, if that's not this, a situation you, you're just going to go with one of the other plans, we can certainly get the option for enhanced slab leak uh, coverage, which will give them coverage for outside the foundation. Uh, again, homeowners um, and listing agents, you know that the client, uh, the new buyer is going to be responsible for those pipes. So it's always good to have coverage. Uh, the cost isn't that great, but when you're getting a $2,500 benefit for that, uh, investment, it certainly is worth it. You know, this video just uh, displays how important it is to understand the nuances of home warranty, because who would have thunk that you would have <clears throat> a decision tree in your transaction management where, okay, we have a slab floor on a house, not a raised foundation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we should engage with Bob Johnson and Home Guard on implementing the 
plumbing encased in the slab floor coverage. How often do you think that conversation takes place? I rarely have that conversation and I wish I had it more because of many examples I can give everyone where the client moves in all of a sudden something happens, you know, four months into them owning the property and they find out they don't have any coverage for it. You know, one would think the more of these videos we do, the more uh, educated we become and the quick, more quickly we run out of topics, but it's the opposite. The more you get educated, the more you realize you don't know. And the more we realize we need to cover. What do you think of that? Absolutely. Because you're right, John, hundred percent right. Um, you have transactions that you're used to. Um, usually you don't have the little nuances. Every property is different. And that's why warranty companies are here to try to help everyone through the transaction. Um, Home Guard, uh, you know, we have these items that are unique. Some warranty companies don't have what we're talking about right now. Uh, so doing that little bit extra homework um, will certainly save that call after the fact where uh, people might not be too happy. And I would recommend that people watch all of our Home Guard videos because when the pandemic is over and the apocalypse is over and they're back at cocktail parties, they could sound so smart talking about home guard home warranty at those cocktail parties. What do you think? I, I would agree with you 100%. And if they want to give me a call, I'll be happy to give them a couple funny anecdote stories that they can bring up at those cocktail parties. Yeah, at some point in the future, we are going to engage just in war stories on these videos, I'm sure. So uh, if people do want to get the, those war, war stories directly from you or ask you any questions, how do they contact you, Bob? Just give me a call at 707-454-6950. And Rafael, in case people want to contact you, realtors, sellers, buyers to order roof termite home inspections, how do they contact you by phone, text, or email? Absolutely. Feel free to text me or call me at 707-616-8762. Um, if, if you have any questions or you just want to have a quick cash up conversation about what's going on, I'm happy to, you know, uh, hop on a call with you. And Or you can email me at rbetances at homeguard.com. That's the letter R, my last name, at homeguard.com. Well, they can uh, bring you a bottle of Inglenook Cabernet Sauvignon, maybe a Demi bottle from 2012 with a couple of glasses in the parking lot. I think if the car is at standstill, Now they're speaking okay. my language if they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you everybody for uh, tuning in. Thank you, Bob and Raphael for making this happen. And we will see you on the next page.